Lightning is already the main cause of the hundreds of fires burning right now. The fire continues to rage on, now four times larger. As many as a thousand people were forced to flee. The industry is changing, the fires are changing, and we need bigger, more capable aircraft in order to stay ahead of them. This is a UH-60 Alpha Blackhawk, which we converted to a Firehawk by the addition of the belly tank and operationally specific equipment. We've basically followed in the steps of California. They've been running them for 20 years down there. We see the speed, versatility, power, uh, the safety history of these aircraft as a huge benefit and the fact that it's already night vision capable. Treat to fly, it's fast, it's powerful, smooth. Very excited to have this aircraft added to our fleet. The first of many, we hope. Uh, we definitely see that the industry going this direction to larger, uh, more capable aircraft. I strongly feel that this is one of the safest aircraft in the skies right now, and the safety history and the stats on that back it up. It's full of redundancies. You know, you got three hydraulic systems, you got two overpowered engines, and a strong airframe that's meant to take punishment. So it's naturally suited to wildfire. And this aircraft was originally built for quite extreme environments. It was built to handle war, so it, it's made strong. The Blackhawk was designed to be easily flown, easily maintained. That's why we believe it's strong candidate for fighting wildfires in Canada. Yeah, over the past three years, we've seen increased wildfire activity. We've seen the need for larger aircraft, more capable aircraft. The fire behavior is getting more and more volatile and aggressive over the last few years. We need to have a tool to counteract that. We've focused our attention on our night vision program. Our aim is to provide 24-7 coverage. Fighting fires at night, you've got a lower temperature, higher humidity, lower winds typically. Uh, that allows us to be more effective. We're looking at, at new technologies. We've partnered with Voxelis, an artificial intelligence company that will have sensors on our aircraft. We have kits for all of our aircraft being developed. That'll give us real-time wildfire information behavior data to the wildfire agencies. Firefighting needs to be more proactive and it needs to hit stronger and faster. Bringing this machine on is going to give us that option. It checks all the boxes for safety. We have TCAS so we can monitor all aircraft on and around the fire. There will be two pilots in the aircraft at all times. One will be flying, one will be monitoring and running the radios. The Helitac tank comes with a in-cockpit controller that's a touch screen that gives us um, the volumes, the, the door positions, uh, foam injection uh, percentage. Uh, we can control that from the uh, pilot seat in this aircraft. You can go from empty to full within less than a minute. We can select our drop. If we need to extend a string drop in the grassland or something, we can adjust it to a slower flow rate. Or if we want to do a spot drop, we can adjust it to a more aggressive spot drop. In Canada, there's definitely a shortage of heavy category helicopters. We're adding this to the Canadian fleet. It adds speed and power. We can take three to four times the capacity of a 212, for example. I think there's a lot of people watching to see how this goes. We were one of the first to take the jump into it in Canada and puts the passion back into it for me. Learning something new and, and having a capable machine like this in the fleet is pretty exciting. There is a massive need to have a heavy lift helicopter that is this quick and powerful and delivers this much water to the fire.